Welcome to this What's New video. I'm Martin Pfanner, the Product Manager of Primary Test Manager, Omicron's testing and data management solution for testing of primary assets. In this video, I will give you a short overview of the new features of PTM 480. With PTM Data Sync Web, you have a very powerful and easy to use tool available to share your data within the team and to safely store it and back it up in a central place. With the additional PTM Data Analytics license, you can get deeper insights into your asset and testing data using the dashboards in Data Sync Manager or by connecting the data to the analysis tool of your choice like Excel or Power BI via the OData interface. The OData interface and the JSON asset import enable you as well to establish a data integration with your own software ecosystem. I will show you now some of the new features in the Data Sync Manager coming with PTM480. The global filters allow you to pre-select the data to be shown in the dashboard. If you only want to see circuit breaker data, select circuit breaker, the asset filter. Additional filters allow you to drill down into individual types of circuit breakers in this case. Search for the assets that were not tested for a longer time or select the voltage level you are interested in. If you want to get more insight into the testing condition of individual assets, switch to the asset condition dashboard. In this list, you can sort the data according to each uh, column. Uh, in this example, it's sorted after the testing date. Let's take a look at the asset of a individual substation. We just select this location, apply the filter, and now we only see the assets of the sample location. Drilling down will show you the testing state. For this transformer, no DGA was taken, no visual inspection is available, but the active part was tested. Last in 2020, the assessment was OK, and the key indicators are shown here. The same drill down is available as well for circuit breakers. Here you as well see no inspection data is available, but uh, all the other tests were done and assessed of being OK. For the testing of rotating machines, new functionality has been added to PTM480. Partial discharge measurement results can not only be taken from the MPD600 via the MPD plus MI software, but PTM now supports as well the MPD suite and the MPD800 test system. The MPD Suite 1.1 or higher has to run on the same PC. In this example, three measurement channels of two MPD 800 are used. The measurement results are automatically transferred to the PTM software and can be integrated in the test report. The display of the filter bandwidth increases the transparency of the result. PTM480 features a big usability improvement for the electromagnetic core imperfection test if used in the manual measurement mode. Keeping the results of a measurement, switching to the next position, or starting the measurement of a new slot now can be remotely controlled via two methods. Let's first start the measurement. We will now remotely control the measurement via PTMate, the mobile companion of PTM. 
you will need to uh, use BTMate 1.90 to use this new feature. Now let's navigate on the smartphone to the current shop and active test. Now you see at the bottom of the smartphone the button Keep Result. And with Keep Result, you can take the results, switch to the next position, and do this as often as needed to measure the complete slot. Let's assume we tested the whole slot and uh, change to the new slot by pressing the button New Slot. You can see here on the screen that the increment is reverted. So we are now measuring backwards from the current position. And we can do so again by just pressing the keep result for each stable measurement. If you don't have a smartphone in use uh, and don't use PT Mate, there's uh, an alternative method. You can do the remote control by connecting a push button to the binary input of the CPC. Pressing the button for a short time will keep the result of a measurement. Pressing it for longer than two seconds will initiate the measurement of a new slot. The quick test is the most used test of the CPC. With this universal tool, you can perform all kinds of tests, like example given impedance or ratio tests. I have prepared a CPC quick test to demonstrate the newly added feature, manual assessment. You can see this new column here. And for each measurement point, you can do the assessment individually. The assessment results are aggregated and as well shown in the job overview. As you can see here, or as well in the test report. The aggregated result and the individual assessments. For the Testrano 600, we implemented the capability of testing very low capacitances together with CPTD12 or TD15, both in the test set and in PTM. In order to test capacitances in the lower peak of our range, the open loop check has to be deactivated. This option has been added here. With deactivated open loop check, the power factor and capacitance tests can be performed without any error messages. For this Ivano 500, we implemented a new trigger option in the first trip test. In the B-Row connections, B4 can now be configured as a current clamp trigger. The only thing left to do before doing the test is to set the trigger threshold. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the new features of PTM480. The best way to experience them, of course, is to try them out yourself. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact me or our technical support around the clock 24-7. Thank you and goodbye.